to load a gel electrophoresis, we're going to be using pre-poured, pre-cast polyacrylamide gels. These particular ones come from BioRad. Make sure you check that you have the right concentration of the gel and the right buffer system. Be sure to wear gloves when you do this because the gel is stored in sodium azide, which is a toxic solution used to inhibit bacterial growth, but it's harmful to humans too. The gel itself has to be activated by pulling off this strip at the bottom. To do that, you'll need a razor blade cut along the solid line. And then pull the tab. Oops. That exposes the gel on the bottom to the electrophoresis buffer. Once the gel is ready, we'll be loading it into the cartridge. There's two sides to the gel. There's a flat side. That's the back, and then the side with the comb, which has the comb, the wells, and this plastic topping. The back goes towards the flat surface of the cartridge. This slips in here, tighten the screws, making sure that this uh, plate is all the way to the bottom of the, of the bench. Tighten up the screws. And now we're ready to put the cartridge into the holder. To put the cartridge into the holder, we're going to turn this around so that these teeth are facing the holder. And in the holder, there's little slots here and here for those teeth. Make sure that there are some other little protuberances here that have to snap in Make sure it's snapped in on both sides. If you are running two gels, you'll do the same thing with the other side. Snap that into place also. If you're running one gel, you need to put a blank set of plates, empty plates, on the other side of the cartridge. Make sure that the two glass plates have different heights. Load these plates in the same way as you would a gel into the other side of the cartridge. Make sure the tall plate is towards the back of the cartridge. Allow them to go all the way down to the bench and tighten up the screws. Then you can put this into the cartridge in a holder the same way as before. Now we're ready to load the gel apparatus into the reservoir, buffer reservoir, slipping it into the slot. Loading the loading buffer, make sure you have the 1x, not the 5x, trisglycine running buffer. Load the inner well of the chamber with your loading buffer and load it to the top. Then pull out, once this is filled, you can pull out the comb. Use your fingernails and the ridges of the comb and pull it straight up. And we're ready to load the samples into the well. Load the gel. You need to put your Hamilton syringe needle in between the two glass plates. You'll be able to feel that it's between the two glass plates. And then slowly deliver your buffer into the well. Since there's glycerol in the buffer, it should sink to the bottom. Once the gels are loaded, we're ready to load the buffer into the outer chamber just to the buff level of the bottom screws. That ensures that the buffer is in contact with the bottom of the gel. We now have some bubbles along the bottom edge of the gel which will act as insulators, so we need to remove those. You can use a bent syringe, take buffer from the top chamber, and we'll just flush those bubbles out. We're ready to start the, set up the apparatus. Red on red, black on black, good connection, and hook this into the power supply. Then set your voltage, 
press run, you're ready to go.